హాయ్ హలో నమస్తే దిస్ ఈజ్ మాధవ్ యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ కేఏబీ టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు స్పెషల్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆన్ ఐసీఆర్ఏ ఎంఏవి టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వెల్వ్ Is it possible to have aerial views of the earth and atmosphere without the help of a satellite? Can we monitor the city traffic from sky? Yes. These are possible with the micro air vehicles or MAVs. Major IITs and defense laboratories are concentrating on using micro air vehicles for different purposes. They are intending to develop applications of MAVs for commercial and domestic usages they even intend to make hyderabad a hub for mavs an international conference on micro air vehicles being organized by jawaharlal nehru technological university hyderabad in collaboration with DRDO and IIT Kanpur has thrown light on this subject the conference is being held between 10th and 12th of december giving an introduction to the program jntu hyderabad rector e sai baba reddy has stated that since 1972 jntu is growing rapidly and is able to place lot of students in good institutions he informed that the university is offering graduate and post graduate courses in science engineering pharma and business management reddy has said that about 460 colleges are affiliated to the university and about 4000 students are pursuing the studies Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University is established in October 1972 with Hyderabad as main campus and two other campuses located one at Anantapur about 400 kilometers from here and the other at Kakinada about 500 kilometers from here for the convenience of administration these three campuses have been given a status of independent universities in the year 2008 hence the university is now known as Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University Hyderabad being a technological university it offers undergraduate postgraduate and research programs in engineering technology science management and pharmacy which includes 22 btech courses 76 mtech courses 13 msc courses and 8 M pharmacy courses besides uh, management and uh, B pharmacy courses besides these regular courses five year integrated courses in five major disciplines are being offered university also offers a number of pg programs in collaborations with a number of foreign universities from usa sweden uk canada bangkok this following campus accommodates the college of engineering institute of science and technology school of information technology and school of management studies besides this campus we have three more campus colleges at jagityala mantani and sultanpur which are within about 200 kilometers distance from the hyderabad 
JNTU Hyderabad is the first choice of the students for the technological education in the state. Besides these campus colleges, the university has as many as 460 self-supported affiliated engineering and management colleges. That means at a given time, about 400,000 students are all on roll of this university. Giving an overview of the program, JNTU Hyderabad Academic and Planning Wing Director K. Vishwanath has said that the manufacturing of MAVs is a difficult task and a lot of challenges involved in it. He said that they can be used in atmosphere, agriculture, transport and in various other sectors of the society. Vishwanath informed that they can be used in hundreds of applications and the conference will discuss them. But you know micro air vehicle is a class of unmanned aerial vehicle. So these micro air vehicles are flying robots and have the weight and size of small birds. Innovation in navigation, control and processing technology has made this possible. There are still numerous scientific challenges to be solved in order to fly the micro air vehicles under all flight and weather conditions. The development of miniature size structures, propulsion and navigation systems, aerodynamics, flight controllers, actuators and sensors are just a few of the current research topics in the field of MAVs. So besides the theoretical part, this conference includes an outdoor demonstration of vehicles also. As of today, the MAVs are not only the major concern in the field of defense and the civil, civilian sector, it has entered into the fields of disaster management, traffic control and commercial usage. Scope of expanding the applications of these vehicles in the various fields will be the theme of the discussion in this conference. So low resolution cameras used in MAs are required to scan a particular area to capture a specified target clearly and persistently. MAs may be extensively used for the water resources development and management, including the areas of crop management. MAs are also used in nanotechnology and micro electromechanical systems. So it's, uh, its development invariably demands several lab simulations and field tests. So the sessions are also scheduled for the application of the composites in MAEs and atmospheric properties monitoring for the aerospace application. JNTU Hyderabad Registrar N. V. Ramana Rao has stated that the university is enduring to prepare students who can become entrepreneurs after their studies. He said, that the aim of the university is to produce job providers and not the job seekers. The conference on MVAs is a step in that direction, he explained. We have been focusing on expanding its infrastructure and academic programs and placing its students in good positions in industry and other higher learning centers in India and abroad. The university has been mainly focusing on to promote thinking of new concepts, techniques, practices in the relevant fields of knowledge and their application to indigenous condition. In designing and organizing of new courses of study and training, evaluation and examination systems. In promoting research relevant to the economic growth of the country, entrepreneurship among the students of the constant colleges and units. And industrial consultancy services in the different faculties of colleges and the units. This year, the objective and focus of the university is to develop and constitute research and development, industry institute interaction and creating entrepreneur graduates so that they become job creators rather than job seekers. With the support of dedicated teachers and researchers, committed technical and office staff and most importantly our enthusiastic, energetic and creative students, the university is looking forward and constant to raise the horizon of technology at international level. And today's conference is one more step towards that endeavor. JNTU Hyderabad Vice Chancellor Professor Rameshwar Rao in his address wanted that the engineering courses should be designed with envision of 10 years. He informed that it is not advisable to respond to the situation and to prepare whenever they arise. Rameshwar Rao has told that the United States is preparing a massive program with a cost of $200 billion and number of countries are participating in it. 
and such big projects communication becomes a vital part and IT will be helpful in them. As you know, JNTU is one of the premier uh, 